when Mark Perot's Perot Mount Pictures makes a movie, it breaks even almost immediately because he shoots his films on a budget of $25 a day. It's Death Row Game Show, where contestants are convicts, where the commercials are controversial. Try the new Electro Zappy Fence. <laughs> 8981, can you hear me? Oh, I can't find any release forms on this convict either. Death Row Game Show. Here we go. You'll die laughing. Rated R. Most of my films have a little weirdness to them, I've been told. I mean, they seem normal to me. Now, hang on. We're about to take you behind the scenes of Nudist Colony of the Dead. They mixed humor and hard work with some innovative techniques to create what they hope is a monster hit. Mark it. <laughs> Way back. Nudist Colony of the Dead is the brainchild of director Mark Pirro, who keeps costs down by borrowing a friend's smoke machine and convincing his associate producer to double as a zombie. Nudist Colony of the Dead. A Polish vampire in Burbank. A comedy in the horror genre. Well, that was the first project I really did, and it was my first feature film. Uh, we made it for $2,500. It ended up wow. buying me my condo. I mean, nobody expected that movie to do anything. We made it as a showcase. But Polish Vampire has become a trendsetter. According to some estimates, the film has grossed up to half a million dollars. We sold it. You got it on the U uh, USA Television Network, got it sold on video. And I was like, well, gee, that was easy. If you've got money this week, you film. If you don't have money this week, you call up everybody and say, okay, we're going to be taking a break for another week and we'll shoot next week. Chris McQueer Wolf is about a guy who one day meets a woman in a bar, takes her home, finds out that she's not a woman after she bites him. Uh, turns out that every time the moon rises, she becomes this, or he becomes this transvestite character. Tonight, the moon will be full. You will change. <laughs> You're not playing against the big boys. These are movies that will never play theatrically. You're going for the home video market, and you're going for a kind of a cult audience. I love you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's about a black girl that turns white. Uh, she sort of has a relationship with a white guy, uh, and she kind of wonders if white guys have a, a different feeling towards white women as they do as opposed to black women. So. Mm -hmm. She uh, goes to bed one night wondering if he really cares for her. She wakes up the next morning and she's Oops. this beautiful blonde. It's me, Tess. I'm Melanie. <laughs> what kind of crazy shit is this? I'm just as baffled as you are. I went out to dinner last night with Dave. I didn't feel well. I came home and went to bed and I woke up this morning and I'm Heather Locklear. Um, Rectuma is the motion picture about a giant ass. Can I say, can I say giant? Something bit you in your ass. What would you be willing to do to save your life? You got the problem, I got the treatment. It will grow larger. Talking Oprah large or Sally Struthers large. Through modern science and bad nuclear accidents, this thing grows and grows to gargantuan proportions until a final confrontation takes place downtown in City Hall. That's the biggest damn ass I've ever seen. Something strange is happening at the Shaber household. You look like Grizzly Adams. If this is some kind of identity crisis... Look at me. A single world. And I need a werewolf. Uh, I suppose we're gonna live in a warehouse. Susan Blakely. John Saxon. In a howling new comedy. That animal is your wife? Well, you have to get to know her. 
I'm gonna find the sweetest, purest girl out there and make her all mine. I'm practically 15. How much longer am I gonna be desirable? I can do things to you, Mary. Amazing things. I can't be pregnant. If these was primitive times, we'd have you stoned. Why weren't you using protection? Wait a second. These is primitive times. Nurse, give me some rocks, you whore. This man is responsible for breaking up my home. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. You're the sickest, cruelest, sadistic man I ever met. And I know men who fuck sheep. Sticks and stones can break my bones. Just because they're omnipotent does not give them the right to abuse humans. You've kept this table occupied for three hours. And this is the only tip you leave? I have a son that starts school this Monday. I'm gonna be beaten and killed this Friday. Go fuck yourself. Thank <laughs> you.